Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker. The Ravens invade the Mercedes-Benz Superdome on Monday, coming off a bye. Under coach Jim Harbaugh, they're 5-1 and one after an off week. So the Saints hope to buck that trend with a little extra motivation since Drew Brees has never beaten Baltimore. Brees talked about their defense on Thursday. Yeah, any, any time you play as physical a front as this is, you know, I, I mean, historically they've really prided themselves on really being great against the run and then getting pressure on the quarterback. And um, not many defenses do you see that can do both as well as, as these guys can do it. With Brandon Cooks now on injured reserve, it's time for other Saints receivers to step up, also in punt returns. The Saints signed rookie Jalen Saunders this week as insurance. Then, of course, there's Kenny Stills and even Joe Morgan. Well, it falls on, and, and this has happened to us before with regards to a number of different players, and it falls on the, the rest of the group, you know, and picking up his touches. You know, so it's the receivers, the running backs, candidates that uh, would be doing some of the same thing, mostly the receivers. Sean, we've seen Cadet and Joe Morgan return punts in preseasons past. Are those among other candidates? Those are a handful. Whatever. Kenny Stills, all those guys, uh, uh, you know, work it every day and have practice at it. Check NOLA.com for more roster updates. And finally, the Saints can't seem to avoid former Carolina wideout Steve Smith. He's a Raven now, after 13 seasons in Carolina, and he's already got 400-yard games. Sean Payton joked he has flowers waiting for when Smith retires. We coached him back in 06 mm -hmm. in that Pro Bowl uh, where our staff was uh, coaching. And, you know, he's got energy, he's got juice. Uh, he's a guy that obviously looks for the big play opportunities. He's, he's fitting great with their system. Uh, he's been a great addition, you know good news was he left our division you know the bad news was you know we're playing him this year but uh, I love watching him play his passion and you know he's he's tough you know there's an energy he brings with him that's very evident just on watching the tape you still have that retirement card ready for <laughs> whatever yeah, you decide to hang it's, it up it's ready flowers the whole nine that'll definitely be an intriguing matchup to watch up next it's fantasy football in the fraction of time we spend driving in reverse, about half a million accidents occur each year, which is why the Infiniti QX60 has world's first safety technology available, like backup collision intervention, which can break even before you do, to help keep everyone safe. Welcome back. Now it's time for your Fantasy Minute with our columnist, Jim Derry. Hey, Jim. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> well, it is week 12, and we'll start right off the bat with your saint to watch, somebody who's shined in prime time. Drew Brees always has a fantastic game in, in prime time, or at least he has uh, throughout most of his career here in New Orleans. And uh, this week, you know, you're looking at a Ravens team that's fifth overall in defense, but they're 20th against the pass. So even with Brandon Cooks out, I expect Drew Brees to shine this week against the Ravens. And a pickup of the week if uh, people are still looking at some players to pick up. Uh, somebody from New England, a running back who just came out of nowhere with four rushing touchdowns. And who would yeah. that be? Who had heard of Jonas Gray before yeah. this week? I, I, I'll tell you, I certainly hadn't. So, no. uh, you know, he rushed Me for 201 either. yards and uh, four touchdowns after having no touchdowns prior to that. So, hey, if he's still available in your league and you need a running back to fill in, uh, you got to think Bill Belichick's going to give him the ball and, and give him some more chances. Right. He certainly did come out, come out of nowhere, over 200 yards, like you said, uh, against the Colts. So we'll see if he can follow that up with another good night. Well, Jim, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Good to see you. We'll do it again next week. <laughs> Sounds great. And thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you Friday.